What's happening out there, everybody? It's Roll Easy here, and I'm back with a money glitch video for you guys to take advantage of. The only working money glitch I promise you out right now. There are no other money glitches. Just like I told you, it's Tuesday on the day of the, Do of the Doomsday DLC release. We will have most, if not all, of these money glitches patched. What got patched today? The solo car duplication glitch, the really easy one where you needed the story mode progression and Franklin's Garage, patched, 100% patched. Uh, storing aircrafts in your special vehicle warehouse using the Sultan stack, patched. That means, you know, no Sultan stack whatsoever. You cannot stack Sultans anymore. You cannot use the oppressor method. You can't do any of that stuff. That is all completely patched. A few gift cards to friends methods are patched as well. You cannot use ignition bombs anymore. Okay, there are a lot of things that got patched. I need to update the pinned comment of all of my videos that got patched. I will do that once I'm done making this video right now. Uh, but yeah, guys, a lot of stuff got patched just like I told you. So I hope you took advantage of all those money glitches when you had a chance. But have no fear. We have the only working money glitch for you right here on the Roll Easy channel. It's a gift cards to friends glitch and it's only two players. You only need one friend. And let me tell you, it is easy it is freaking easy okay now there's a couple things you do need to know and a couple things you need for this obviously you need one friend you guys both need a bunker with mocs and the personal vehicle storage i'd say having the same bunker definitely helps it's much much easier we use farmhouse farmhouse seems to be one of the best ones okay great location close to the city and it's really really convenient let me tell you okay especially to have the same bunker with both you and your friend it's very convenient now this can be turned into a three-player method but it is much better as a two-player method uh and as long as you learn the steps you will be consistent at it so mocs with the personal vehicle storage bunker one friend a uh, person receiving the car obviously needs a Fagio or an LG inside of your MOC. Apart from that, you need custom plates. If you're uh, going to use this as a money glitch, which we are using this as a money glitch because there are no other money glitches out right now. So this is the money glitch to do right now, guys. All you need is one friend and that is it. All right. So the custom plates you do need because when your friend gives you the car, you want that one to have a custom plate on it, but since you received it and that custom plate isn't in your iFruit, you know, uh, you know, your social club, it's not part of your social club, you didn't add that to your iFruit, the game detects that as dirty. Okay, so what you want to do is right after you get the car, you want to go ahead and take that car to Los Santos Customs and you want to change the plate on it. All right, change that plate. Once you change it, drive out, wait for the little orange save icon at the bottom right. And once you get that, you are sure that that car is clean and that is ready to sell now with this glitch once you learn the steps and you can you know hit them consistently you can do this glitch probably a car every five to six minutes maybe seven minutes tops okay we've been having gift cards to friends for a while those of you that think gift cards to friends you actually giving your friend a car i'm a nice dude but i don't give people cars i duplicate them okay this is a duplication glitch you you duplicate a car for a friend it's just your vehicle that's being duplicated that's the only difference okay but this is a duplication glitch. All right, so we're gonna get started here very soon. This is my friend right here. It's actually my second console. And uh, yeah, so he's gonna go ahead and run into his MOC. The main perspective of this tutorial is the car giver. Okay, so my friend got his Fagio from his MOC. And now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and hit the uh, Securo Serve CEO. But I'm not gonna fully sign in. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit register as a CEO, not just yet, but I'm gonna sit on that alert. You're gonna see what I'm talking about right here. This is how we get guns in bunker, and it is easy. Let me tell you, no timing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it, and I'm gonna stay on this alert. He's gonna hit right D-pad, and when he hits right D-pad, like you see in the top right, it's gonna kick me off, he lets me know, and I back out of the alert. Once I'm backed out of the alert, boom, I have full guns in bunker. Make sure you're not signed in as an MC or a CEO before you do that, obviously, you know? That's why you're backing out of the CEO, all right? You don't wanna sign in. If you sign in, it's gonna kick you out, so make sure you back out of the CEO just like that, and you'll be good. You have guns. Now, friend's perspective. This is what you're gonna be doing once you've gotten your uh, your other friend helping you, you know, the person giving you the car. Once you've gotten that person a guns and bunker, you need to do the right D-pad start trick. Now, I was bad at this for a little while, but I've gotten much, much better. Uh, what you gotta do is just have both your thumbs on right D-pad and start, and just drive right up to it, you know, right up to the MOC, press them down, and then release them both at the same exact time. So press at the same time and release at the same time. And not super fast. It, I'd say just, you know, a little like, 
a little pep in your step, you know? So just go ahead and write D-pad start, let go, you know, push down, let go, and then go ahead and check online, and quick job and play job should be grayed out. Okay, it took me a few tries to get it, but I eventually got it and I started getting it consistently. So don't give up, just give it a few shots and then you're good. So once you're at that point, let your friend know with guns in the bunker that you're frozen. And then now we're back to the person giving the car, person receiving the car is in the top right. So car giver has guns in bunker right now. He's gonna go ahead and blow up the MOC right here. This is what I'm doing. I'm gonna blow up the MOC by just shooting at the ground where it would be. And boom, the MOC is blown up. You can see it at the top right. And uh, yeah, once that's happened, your friend is completely frozen there, you know, behind the MOC. What you have to do as the car giver is go ahead and start up a job. I'd recommend just going ahead and starting up Titan of a job. Seems to be no issue with Titan of a job. We kind of use it for almost every single one of these glitches if we ever need to start anything up. So start the job, your friend that's frozen behind the MOC, he's gonna go ahead and go to start online and players. Once he goes to start online players, he's gonna hit on your name and press join game. And he's just gonna accept both those alerts. You're gonna get, are you sure you wanna join? And then session is private, all right? Invite only session, guys. I probably should've said this in the beginning, but invite only session for that to work, all right? So once that's happened, you're gonna be kicked back down to the ground, either on the Fagio or off the Fagio. doesn't matter. If you're on it, just get off, all right? And now just chill. You're just chilling in your bunker and you're waiting. Now, guns and bunker person, person giving the car, go ahead and just kill yourself, all right? Now, once you've killed yourself, you're gonna spawn at the docks. Now, just like a lot of other glitches, if you wanna do this with three players, you can definitely do it. You can have one person stuck with guns in the bunker the whole time. And if they're stuck with guns in the bunker the whole time, the other people on top can just help each other and trade and stuff really easily. So, once you've done that, go ahead and you're actually going to do the story mode trick. So press down on the D-pad, select a story mode character and back out. Then tell your friend to send you an invite to the bunker and you go ahead and accept that invite. The story mode trick will help you knock it on an infinite loading screen. So right now you see no infinite loading screen. I'm inside my friend's bunker who's waiting for the car. All right, so go ahead now and walk back outside. And at this point, you're gonna go ahead and call the car that you're gonna be giving him, you know, duplicating for him, I should say, because a lot of people think you're just giving vehicles. No, you're duplicating a vehicle for him. It's just your vehicle. And I had some trouble thinking what I was gonna do. And I was like, you know what? This is a money glitch. It's a money glitch today. It's the only one working. So we're gonna be giving an LG Retro Custom right now because this DLC is mad expensive. I've already spent about $35 million in just a span of a few hours just buying all the stuff, okay? It is a lot. So we're, yeah, we're gonna be duping LG Retro Customs. This one specifically sells for about 973,000. So almost a million bucks. What you're gonna do now is go ahead and drive it inside of your bunker, all right? And we're gonna be glitching in this car solo. Really, really easy method, okay? A lot of people should know this one, but the solo method is still working to glitch in cars. Uh, and by the way, getting frozen with right D-pad pause, uh, the hover over retire method with a friend does not work anymore. Okay, that's patched. Some people were saying it still works, that's patched. You're just gonna get sucked right in the MOC. So car giver, go ahead and park your vehicle right there, block the passenger side door with the wall. Once you block the passenger side door with the wall, what you wanna do is grab one of your caddies and you're gonna back up the caddy so that the right corner, uh, the, the right back corner I should say, is pressing up against the door, all right? The driver's side door. So you see right here, the right back corner of the uh, caddy, boom, wedging the uh, driver's side door, just like that. Now you should be able to spam Y or triangle and teleport in there, just like that. So now once you're in there, open up your phone, either call Gerald Martin or Simeon for a job, request it, get the job and launch it. Once you've launched it, right when the lobby pops up, you go ahead and press B your circle and confirm it to back out. Once you're back, spam Y. You actually wanna start spamming Y once, uh, or spamming triangle or Y once you're on the black screen. And once you teleport in a few times, that car's in everyone's bunker. Now your friend who's waiting in the top right can go ahead and run over there, park the car in this area. Once he's in the car, just go ahead and hop out. He's gonna scoot over, and then he's gonna scoot over and get sucked right into the MOC, just like that. And there you go, guys. That is the only money glitch working right now after patch, what patch? I don't even know what patch this is. I'll put it down on the screen once I check, but yeah, I wasn't sure what patch we're on right now. Uh, but yeah, this is the only thing working right now. They've patched up every single other money glitch. The two player retro glitch is also patched. Uh, once you're in the MOC with your brand new uh, dupe, what you wanna do is do the story mode trick again, select the story mode character and back out of the alert, and then you're able to drive out. If you don't do that, you're gonna get caught on an infinite black loading screen. Once you've done that, you can now go ahead and spawn right here in the bunker. And I wanted to show you guys 
that. Now the MOC doesn't stay blown up. You can actually go back to it and you can drive it back in if you really want to. It's saved, but you can drive it back in right now if you really want to, if you don't care about changing the plate at the moment and you'll change it later or something. That's up to you. I definitely recommend changing the plate after every single dupe you get. So I'd say drive outside and go ahead and go straight to Los Santos Customs and change the plate. That's definitely my suggestion, all right? So that's going to be it for me, guys. All I'm doing right here is changing the plate. As you can see, that's the car that my friend was giving me, you know, right there. So it's a duplication glitch. You're not literally giving cars to anybody. Uh, you're just, you're helping them dupe cars, all right? Should be dupe cars for friends, but that doesn't sound as good. So give cars to friends. We do that. GC2F, all right? So that's going to be it for me. Like I said already, I'm repeating myself. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. If you did, uh, you know, make sure to subscribe if you're brand new, first of all, by hitting that big red subscribe button, turn on post notifications, uh, you know, drop a like down on this video if you really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, the hard work that I put into this channel, I really do put a lot of work into it and I'm seeing great results. We're climbing. We hit 6,000 subscribers already. We're still on the road to 10K. There's still a giveaway that rhymed, didn't mean it to. <laughs> That's it for me, guys. I'm out of here. Peace out and enjoy the brand new DLC.